Hello everyone and welcome back to Dreaming AI. My name is Nuked and today we are going to learn how to do some in-painting with Comfy UI without manually drawing editing masks. To do this, we will use a technology recently released by Meta called Segnet Anything. Thanks to it, it's possible to extract elements very precisely from an image. We will also use Impact's custom nodes. You can find a link to install them in the description. I was planning to start from an existing example available to us on GitHub from the Impact Suite. Uh, in fact, by doing to the dedicated section for Interacted Sam, we can save this image and load it as a workflow. Uh, however, I reflected on the fact that there are really too many things we'll be changing in this example, and it's certainly faster to start from scratch. So let's open a new workflow and begin our journey into the fantastic world of in painting with Sam. Uh, starting with a blank workflow, let's start with the usual model loading. Pay attention to what model you will be using as not all of them can performing in painting correctly. At this point, let's add a load image node to load the image we want to modify. Perfect. Uh, right click on the image and select open in SAM detector. This will open a window where we can decide which elements to include in our mask. Um, to do this, click on one or more parts of the element and then click detect to verify that the selection is successful. Or you can use the right click on the image for select the point you want to exclude from the resulting mask. Be cautious because contrary to what you might think, many times fewer selection points you use, the better it is. Uh, also, use the confidence parameter to adjust to the correct identification of the object in the scene if it's too imprecise. When you've achieved a result you're satisfied with, close the window by clicking Save to Node. How the gray area will be the part that our model will replace. If you notice imperfections, you can always correct them, right-clicking again on the image and selecting Open in Mask Editor. Uh, this way you can modify the mask created using the right mouse button to erase and the left mouse button to draw. Now, just for visualization purposes, let's convert the resulting mask into an image and display it on the screen. Uh, continuing with our example, let's encode our image with the model's VAE. Now let's add a new node called Set Latent Noise Mask. This node will take our encoded image, the resulting mask from Sam's work, and combine them into a single latent. Um, now move down where we'll set up the usual nodes for creating a new image. Place the two positive and negative prompts where we'll describe what we want to appear in our mask. And finally, add the case sampler to which we'll attach our two prompts and the latent resulting from the operations above. The key difference lies in this last step. Usually we would have added the empty latent image node, which fed our model a space full of noise. Using masks, however, the model will only be given a part of the image where changes can be made. Um, in this example, I wanted to use the set latent noise mask as the handler for this input, as it allows for a more uniform and seamless image rendering. There are also other types of nodes like they encode for inpainting, but it's much more rigid in terms of the area where in-painting can be done and might cause some inconsistencies between the base image and the generated part. Um, let's change some case sampler parameters similar to the one that the impact example suggests us. Uh, 
one stein decode the resulting latent noise and display the final result. In this example, I wanted to modify the background of this image. Done. If we wanted to modify more of this image uh, while preserving the, the changes made, uh, you can simply copy and paste the image using comfy UI's clip space like this. I think that once you become familiar with this method, you can truly modify anything with minimal effort. Well, that's all for now. I hope this tutorial helped you learn how to in-paint images via SAN. Uh, please consider liking and subscribing if you found this useful. Also, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to help you out as much as I can. And as always, keep dreaming. dreaming.